How y'all doing? Good, BJ. So Thursday night, you got some energy and you got excitement flowing here. Talk about the team getting ready to play the opener. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to set the tone at home. I mean, there's no way better way to start off the season. I'm mean, really excited just to like kick off our season and get to prove all the doubt is wrong and all that. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good feeling to have right now. So. You kind of talk about that. I mean, has that been provided a little bit of a chip on the shoulder from you and the teammates to hear the constant talk about the team in a negative fashion leading up? Um, I don't think we really hear it as a team. I think we just know it's there and it's just like, you know what, we just got to set the tone, you know, let people know like these stigmas and these stereotypes that they have at Arizona State football, that's not how we play. You know, we play fast, physical, and we finish to the ball. So that's what we're going to show on Thursday and that's how we're going to set the tone. So. And then, what do you see from that? Um, they're pretty good. They're a pretty good um, team. Uh, O-line wise, they have some guys that can they can uh, gas you if you let them. But I feel like if we come out the way we need to come out, it won't be won't be what we it won't be as hard as we think it will. So, do you have an idea what your role is going to be with a bunch of guys on the line? Um, when my numbers call, I just made the play, made the plays I need to make, be a team player, do what I need to do. That's the type of role I'm gonna play, and that's the type of role that most of us are playing on this team. You know, it's not really like a home. It's a guy. It's like we have multiple guys always next man up. You know, it's like me and Omar. It's like a one-two punch. When he goes out there, he does what he needs to do, and then when he gets done, I'm out there and I'm doing what I need to do. So. Given the campaign you had as a walk-on last year, leader in sacks on the team, is there any pressure in heading into the season opener to sort of match that or extend beyond that? And as you've mentioned, you're trying to work on stopping the run a little bit more and things like that. Um, I mean, obviously, I want to be more of a complete. I am going to be more of a complete lineman. You know, actually, actually last year, you know, I showed what I can do on the pass rush side. This year, you know, I'm showing what I can do more on the run side. Just doing that, I don't really put pressure on myself. You know, I just do what I do and just play like BJ can. Play. Like BJ Green, like I know I can play, so that's all I'm doing right now. So I saw, um, you know, you, you just did that little thing, and uh, I, 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 a little social media. I, I look and, and I think this guy has a thing for the camera. Is that something you know you like to be uh, in front of the lights a little bit? Oh no, I do. I, I'm, this is just me. Like this is me, whether regardless of cameras are here or not. I'm just saying, if y'all are ready, I can take off right now. Y'all ain't gonna follow me. <laughs> Just how close-knit is the group of guys that you're next to? Oh, it's family, you know. Like we, always, we all learn from each other. Like, you know, it's like, you always, like me being a young guy that's playing, you know, I learn from the older guys, like having, like, Nesta, TJ, Omar, like, learning from Omar, that's a blessing to have. Like, you know, we just pick each other's head on how to do things better. Like, you know, he helps me sometimes with, like, my run reads. You know, I help him sometimes on, like, the little, 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 the little stuff with the pass rush. But, you know, it just makes us all better people. It makes us all better players just to be able to play together. And that way, when we step on the field, we're all one unit it's not individuals so. when something bad like what happens when the Chiefs happens just what does that do to you guys does it bring you guys closer and how how does that work for you guys you know like what happens to Matus you know we all pray we all praying for him still praying for him you know he's still with us and like we don't think like oh man he's gone like nah he's still here with us he still touches us on the little stuff but it brought us together because he's like you know what we got to step up to the plate like last year you know Jermaine Lole went out and we had to step up to I had to step up to the plate last year so it was just like it's all, it was a mentality that this program has always had you know next man up you just got to step to the play and do what you got to do so and it's game week just what's the energy like out there you know do you feel a difference you know you see it on my face like, you know i'm just like jittery it's like christmas time you know it's just you get to go out there and reap the rewards of what you've been working on all year you know it's that one time of year you go you train all year round this is one time of year you get to show it so yeah i'm excited i think everybody's excited and well, you'll be able to see it on Thursday what we've been working on. So you know, speaking of nitty gritty, I saw Coach Rob going over really in detail um, of just sort of a formation. Just what is, what is he like as a coach to you? Um, coach Rob, I mean, he's like a uh, how do I say this? He's like a like you know like a like a. Mr. Miyagi almost like <laughs> I love it. So, like it don't make sense until it needs to make sense. Like mm -hmm. almost like last year. It sounded like a whole different language to me, and now this year it all clicks. And when it clicks, it clicks. You know, he always has that stuff that, like, even when you think you know everything, you don't. And it's just like you always, he always has something more to tease, and that's what I like about him. Like, you never really are just going to be, like, satisfied with that type of coaching. He always has something more for you to do, something, like, more for you to step on the plate. And he's always that coach that coaches everybody. He doesn't treat anybody different. You know, he, like, he expects a lot from us, and he expects a lot from us as a group. And I feel like we just got to pay him back. And that's just like, you know what? You never really can pay that back. And now is an opportunity that he was giving me personally. But, yeah, he's a great coach. What has the energy been from him leading into this game week? You know, the energy that's been from him, you know, the expectation is the expectation. 
and we got to meet that regardless of the circumstances. So that's the type of energy that we're getting from all the coaches. Like you know, like this is what we do. This is Arizona State football. Like you got to meet that. You got to meet that standard. You know, if you can't find it, fake it. If you can't fake it. You got to feed off your teammates, and they got the energy. So that's what's going. That's how it is, and that's how it's always going to be. So. With you trying to just having more bodies on the team right now, I mean, do you feel that more of a competition now compared to this time last year? You know, I just it's like kind of like what I said before. Like you know, I just play like I know I can play, and let the cards fall where they lie. You know, I just I mean, we got a lot of bodies, and that is to our advantage because you know we got like like I said, you know we got Omar, you got me. So it's like Omar goes out there, it's like a one-two punch, and I go out there and it's a one-two punch, and we always gonna it's gonna keep rolling, and we always got we just got guys that can go out there and get the job done, and that's what I like about this team, and like, that's what I like about our coaching staff. They coach everybody to be ready and step up to the plate. So you talk about you and talk about Omar. And maybe uh, you both had maybe your best game of the year in that uh, Vegas ball against Wisconsin. Do you believe in some kind of carryover from the last game of the year until the first game of next year? Uh, it's like a. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's like a, it's a one-two punch, you know, Mario yeah. Luigi type thing. Like, you know, it's just a, like, all right, here we go, man. It's, it's, shake it's, and it's, bake. Huh? Shake and bake. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is. Salt and pepper, I mean, however you want to put it. That's just how, that's really just how it is, man. You know, he, I learned a lot from that guy, and I'm blessed to just have him here. He's just learn to pick, pick his head. But, yeah, the, it's a it's a good thing to have, just being able to have that type of depth that we have on the line, just as a defense. But I guess my question was when you end the end the last season on a end strong the note, I mean, do you feel like it can really carry over to next season? Um, I feel like, yeah, it can. You know, the standard is the standard. We saw what we could really do as a D-line that last season. It was like, you know what? We're just going to let this, like, carry over and then some with this season, like, having some stuff. Not really to prove to anybody else, but to prove to ourselves, you know. With more of a, an established role on this line compared to last year where, where you were a walk-on, any uh, sack celebrations you're working on? At, <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's like, more time to prepare. Yeah, I just got to see that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you got to see that. I can't really talk too much about that. Okay. <laughs> All right. DJ, what do you want to tell Sun Devil fans, you know, to get them out there on Thursday? You know, just be out there. You know, I'll be smiling, cheesing. Uh, we'll put on a show for y'all. But yeah, y'all just got to see it. It's going to be funny. Like, <laughs> we're going to have a lot of show. We know we're going to put it all out there on the field for y'all to see, you know, like the guys who've been there supporting us, we're going to reward y'all with, you know, just showing y'all what we really can do, so. You guys like being the underdogs? I love being the underdogs. <laughs> I love it, like Rocky Balboa, man. I just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun, yeah, just being able to just, I like being underestimated. That's why I like, that's why I thrive, so. DJ, thank you so much. Thanks,